Alright, good day to all. So for today, we're going to do an exercise. So you can go to your VLE under final element and uh, you're going to go down all the way to CFD. And uh, you need to download this file, uh, which is Lori Cargo Cat. So there's one file that you need to download. And uh, this practical lab number five. So two things. And uh, let's open up Lori Cargo. So in this uh, practical lab, we're going to be doing uh, this exercise on something called vehicle aerodynamics. However, you're going to be doing it on your own. Lah. And the challenge uh, for today is for you guys to evaluate the current uh, value of drag force for a lorry. And then you're going to be modifying the design of the lorry in order to improve the drag force of the lorry. So this is the typical design of the lorry. You're going to do some objectives, which is to, to determine the drag force of the lorry. And then uh, to visualize the flow in 3D for the vehicle. And also later on, we're going to be improving the design for better aerodynamic performance. So the inlet flow velocity, which we have decided, is uh, 30 meter per second. So these are the things that you need to do, uh, which is uh, pressure con contour distribution on the vehicle, velocity, and uh, also flow trajectories on the vehicle, and finally the drag force on the vehicle. So we're going to plot uh, the results here on the original design. And uh, later on, you're going to study something called turbulence intensity. And then you're going to see which are the area that you really need to modify. However, the challenge is uh, whenever you modify the lorry, you still need to maintain the volume of the container at the back. Lah. For example, the equivalent volume of the container at the back is actually one TEU or one 20 foot equivalent unit or in meter cube which is 33.2 uh, meter cube lah, this one this is the standard 20 feet container so later on we'll put uh, things such as sensor in order to you in order for you to find out what is the volume so this is uh, the thing that you need to do which is you can uh, put a sensor and the sensor will tell you how many cubic meters of volume you have right now. So you need to keep it uh, at least 33.2. These are some of the steps for you to uh, find out the volume. And uh, this is the improvement uh, things on the design that you can do. You can Google this up aerodynamics of lorries or aerodynamics of trucks how do you streamline the design in order to reduce drag force and then paste the results here okay so we're gonna begin this is the original design of the lorry so let's make sure you are in the correct unit which is millimeter gram second or if you rather later on in meter you can also edit document you need. For example, you only want the volume in. You have to change here, uh, custom. Volume if you want to change to me liter or things like that, you can change here. But mm, currently it's in millimeter cube. Uh. Let's say you want to change to meter cube. Meter cube, so it's here. Uh per unit volume is in meter cube click on ok so you can already check uh, the evaluate measure this thing 
this is the face huh? delete this one is it this one yeah measure this imported tree this whole thing can you measure the whole thing this is a face you don't want that mm. measure imported tree cannot really do that huh? measure can you measure mass property you can uh, you can measure mass property but uh, let's try mass property let's measure this one okay so you can do that instead of measuring here you can go to mass properties lah. because you're gonna get things like uh, density and mass and also volumetric this is the value lah. so make sure this one is uh, above 33.2 meter cube so in order to do flow analysis on this lorry you need to go to add-ins and turn on uh, flow simulation and then go to flow simulation click on wizard So this is the current project. This is you can rename it as original if you want. And then click on next. This is in SI unit. Everything looks good. Click on next. Make sure you are doing an external. So this is external. There is no uh, gravity. There's no rotation. <coughs> reference axis is on the x-axis which is along this uh, direction so this is okay click on next so the fluid you're gonna use uh, gases and you're gonna double click on air so air will be included in your analysis click on next and uh, this is fine and finally you need to put a velocity so the velocity in x direction is 30 so it's 30 meter per second along the direction of the flow lah. not the direction of the lorry moving it's uh, the opposite direction of the lorry moving so positive x so click on finish you're going to come up with the computational domain so this is the big fluid of air surrounding the lorry so you can imagine this as your wind tunnel so you might want to do some modification on your wind tunnel size depending on the computational power that you have so on the left hand side maybe you can maintain at about this much you can really truly key in this one huh? for example five click here if you lost it five Oh, it should be more than that, huh? Negative five, negative five. This one you can uh, keep it all the way to the bottom of the wheel. Almost to the bottom of the wheel, so this is good. And finally, the top one you can uh, keep it maybe the height of the vehicle, so this is okay. So let's look from the side so at the front maybe the length of a vehicle roughly about there at the back is from normally typically about 3 x three the length of the vehicle so the back calculation of drag is more important so uh, this will do this is the size of your computational domain or your wind tunnel so next thing you do is you should input a goal so this is your goal insert a global goal so you can uh, go down all the way here so you are interested in force average force maximum and also you are interested in uh, x direction force fx so these are the two uh, criteria which the analysis will be based on 
once they have get a constant value of uh, x or force x it, the solution is considered to be converged and they're gonna stop uh, the solution lah. so this is your goals to tell the solver these are the important values that you are interested in so gg stands for global lah. if you're interested to know for example you you only interested to know in uh, certain parts of the, the the model for example you're interested to know how much force is at the front windshield so you need to do something called surface goal so for example i'm interested to know what is the force x on this particular windshield so i can use that one so this is a SG surface goal. This is a GG global goal for everything. Uh. And then mesh, you can uh, improve the mesh a bit, edit definition according to your computational power. So this is your mm, basic mesh size. Of course, uh, if you have the time, you should make it as fine as possible. The finer, the better, lah, the, the solving and then the solution. And you can even do some manual control of it. So I'm just going to keep it uh, at 5, apparently, so my solver won't run for too long. So this is my goal. Do I have any boundary conditions? No, I don't have any boundary conditions. Lah. If I have any other boundary condition, I can uh, apply it here. For example, I can, I can model the road, the road moving. So I can choose this one, real wall and the wall is moving, wall motion. However, I'm not modeling that. If I have internal flow, I can uh, put some boundary conditions. Lah. So for the time being, using these uh, settings is enough and you can uh, save your model, save all and then you can hit run and you can uh, monitor your solver here there are two places you can look you can look at uh, velocities and you can look at goal plots this is where you click, eh? this is where you look at goal plots and uh, this is where you look at planes, uh, right plane probably no it's a uh, top plane this is looking at the top and uh, you can also look at the front plane uh, this is looking from the side this is looking at pressure profiles huh? so it is updating uh, your solution as it is solving however we are interested in the value of your force if you look here uh, force in x is almost the same as the total force huh? Total force would be the magnitude, lah, meaning uh, uh, summation of x and summation of y and uh, summation of z. The windscreen alone is about that much. SG stands for surface on the windscreen. So you can see there's a lot of uh, pressure differential between the front wind, windscreen and the back of the lorry so when you have a uh, great pressure differential you're gonna get uh, a greater uh, drag force Okay, so it has uh, achieved and the solver is finished.
So this uh, monitoring dialog, you can uh, turn it off. Now you can go to results. The first thing that you should do is probably you should look at uh, flow trajectories. So this is to determine whether your model is behaving properly or not. So go here, expand on results, go to flow trajectories, click on insert. Over here, maybe you can put more, 100 points. Change this one to arrows. Currently, it's 0 0.1 size. This one, you can hit Control A. It's going to select all the uh, surfaces. And it's going to roughly predict the flow of air which is coming from the front, hitting the lorry, and then uh, do a flow separation in between here. And then you're going to get a vortex at the back. So looks about right on the flow side of the lorry. You can even see how it is supposed to behave dynamically if you play it around. Click play. You can stop and you can even click on play so this looks good and uh, let's stop it for a while the second thing that you should check is probably doing uh, cut plots right click on cut plot click on insert currently uh, top plane is being evaluated so you want to want to change this to pressure currently it has 10, 10 values you can even put vectors inside click on OK and you're gonna see from the side what does the pressure look like you can hit this lighting value you might wanna turn off trajectories hide for a while so this is the cut plot off looking from the side the pressure profile so if you hit play, it's going to sweep across your vehicle looking at uh, pressure positions along the plane. So you can stop, it's going to go back to the center. So vectors will help you uh, find the vectors of the velocity or the pressure depending on what you select. So this is one cut plot you can clone. So this is cut plot number two. Edit definition. Change to velocity. Currently it's velocity. Eh? This one you can hide. This one edit definition. Pressure change to velocity. Uh, so this is the velocity profile. So cut plot 1 is pressure, cut plot 2 is velocity. Looking from the side, you can see the velocity profile. Lah. So certain areas behind the lorry, you can do this uh, probe. Probe here is about 1 meter per second, 2 meter per second. Whereas the flow of the uh, air is actually around 30, right? 30 meter per second. But behind the lorry, there's basically no flow. It is stagnant even here. Uh, if you probe here, you're going to see very low velocity. Uh. Okay, so these are the two plots that you need to do, which is uh, cut plots for velocity and pressure and also flow trajectories. And if you were to hide all these things, you can hide it. Next, you might want to look at surface plots insert surface plots you can click use all faces if you want to look at velocity it's going to be all zero due to no slip condition so you might want to look at pressure so this is the pressure profile on the lorry itself so these are the areas that probably need some uh, help in redesign Another thing is you can look at ISO surfaces, insert, and you want to look at turbulence intensity. If this is not available, you need to click add parameter and you can choose lah, turbulence, which is turbulence intensity in percentage. 
so click on uh, OK so under ISO surface this one edit definition you can change lah how much preview preview too much pressure change eh? change to turbulence intensity I can see it gradually being there so you might want to turn off this uh, surface plot hide so that you can really uh, look at this isosurface hide this isosurface turn it back on edit definition uh. you can edit definition so these are the places where you have a lot of turbulence Uh, at about 27% and uh, you might want to set your criteria depends uh, on your project uh. Uh, so these are the areas where you have turbulence these are the areas where you need uh, help and finally the most important one you want to do a goal plot right click insert uh, you can select all or you can uh, select whatever you need SG remember SG is the windshield GG is everything GGX global goal X so you can click on show so these are the values so currently I'm getting a uh, force X lah. for example I'm evaluating drag force so only X so my current drag force is 5410 so this is the value of my current uh, drag force so once you have done that uh, you can uh, export to Excel if you want so you can look here lah. this is the analysis so value is about 5410 average 5366 minimum maximum yeah we can take this one 5410 is the final final value right 5410 the final value that it gets huh? so for my lorry i'm getting about 5410 newton of drag force so 5000 newton is about 5400 kilogram it's huge lah for a lorry in order to drive forward so this is the first analysis so once you've done this you might want to uh, clone the project this is original eh? original so clone click on clone this is modified So for modify, you might want to go back to your, so you might want to hit Google first. Uh. Hit Google this one, and then look at certain uh, things that you can do in order to move, in order to improve your aerodynamics of the lorry. So you can go back here and uh, do some modification. Uh. For example, I want to do some modification here uh, this is called streamlining so you can do whatever I want lah actually eh. maybe I'm doing something like this so depends you can decide on your own what kind of modification that you want to do for your lorry to improve your aerodynamics go back to features I can do a cut to cut more than one contour so there's something wrong with my with my sketch I gotta edit my sketch trim certain things exit extrude cut again blind change to true all for example huh? Do you want to reset the computational domain? So this one, no. Hit no. 
if you click yes you need to set everything again lah your wind tunnel domain so click on no do you want to reset mesh setting yes this one you have to do it lah because a lot of geometry has been changed and uh, this one you need to evaluate right uh, mass properties not the whole thing this thing only so I'm getting 34 meter cube so this one is ok lah it's above 1 TEU which is 33.2 eh. so I'm lucky so this is the new uh, study now I can go back to flow simulation where was my flow simulation it's here it's under modified so do I have to mesh again might be a good idea to mesh again my design no no not this one it's under this mesh global goal show basic mesh what is my definition of mesh right now is 5 so before you run another analysis make sure you have uh, saved your previous results this goal plot if you take a look at the goal plots uh, where are my goals here surface goal is it okay uh, this one is okay how about my global goals global goal is for everything uh, the whole body and then I guess I can just run new calculation hit on run of course uh, you can spend more time on your design and improve more things on your analysis so previously it was like 5400 right my uh, drag force so let's see the new one what happens to it from We are currently at about 4,400 so 1,000 Newton has been saved about more than 20% improvement yeah so we are now at 4,420 just by doing one simple modification streamlining the lorry a bit so you get 4420 so you can plot the whole thing again for trajectories uh, this one you need to re-edit lah edit definition this one control a delete first or you can just remove everything first car can you remove a clear selection and then hit again control a and then it will uh, do the particle study again lah. so this is the flow trajectory again certain place certain things you need to re-edit lah so this is how it looks like lah the flow surrounding the lorry and uh, all the things all other things should work properly this one show this one is for velocity hide this one first and then what else surface plot is it is that it should be should be working and iso surfaces for turbulence show 
so the rest of your settings are okay turbulence seems to have uh, reduced a bit judging from uh, what we are seeing before and the most important thing is this one right global goals goal plots edit definition click show so this I'm getting 4420 lah. so I see 1000 Newton 1000 Newton is about 100 kilogram of force I have uh, saved from doing one simple modification so you can do more modification look at uh, areas where you can do some uh, move do some improvements do some radiuses fillets okay so and then you can uh, screenshot and put in your results lah. the results that you need to put is this one pressure velocity and uh, flow trajectories and finally the lift force and uh, goal plot lah and then put a small discussion then you're okay so all right so that's it for today